You know, I told you I texted that to my wife, right? Like a week ago, I texted her. I'm going to shut up more. You know, she loved it. Got a big heart next to that text. You know, it doesn't work the other way. If my wife said I'm going to shut up more and I gave a big heart there, I'm like at that point, I'm basically saying, get in the kitchen and make me a sandwich, which believe me, that's what I want to say. You know what I mean? Can we make that deal, ladies? If, if the man in your life shuts up more, can you go to the kitchen more? You know, sort of balance out, you know, show that you're, you're willing to kind of step our way a little bit. I mean, it's a fucking sandwich. We're not asking for shiny shit for Christmas every once in a while. Can you bring your precious ass out to that fucking kitchen with the island that you just had to have? You know, take out some lunch meat. All right, there's a little bread box over there, right? Oh, it's so adorable, I have to have it. Well, open it up and get the bread out of it now. Okay, you get a plate. I'll walk you right through it. I'm gonna walk women through this because your generations, generations of women have stopped making sandwiches. I'm gonna describe how to make one. Okay, you take the two slices of bread, right? You put them on the plate. You get out a condiment. That means like mustard or mayonnaise, you know, hot sauce, whatever the fuck it is, peanut butter, I don't know, not peanut butter, whatever, you get some fucking, lunch. you know the deal, lunch meat, cheese, pickles, fucking mustard, okay, you cut it in half, put some fucking chips on it, okay, it's literally what, four minutes out of your day, you can hit pause on the TV, make the fucking sandwich, bring it to him, and when he says, what did you do that for, you just say, because I want you to shut the fuck up for the rest of the day. And he'll laugh and he'll shut up and he'll eat the sandwich and you can watch the rest of your Real Housewife shows right there. I mean, how am I not hosting my own talk show? Dr. Bill, how about that? Dr. Bill, where I stress no communication. You communicate through gestures, all right? And then when somebody does a nice gesture for you, then the other person has to just shut the fuck up for the rest of the day. Rather than just saying, hey, honey, I swear to God, can you just close your fucking pie hole? Because that just leads to a fight. All right? And, you know, as a man or a woman or a they, whatever you are, you know when you're annoying your partner, okay? And that's the moment, okay? You go down, you get him the paper, you get him a breakfast sandwich, you order some croissants, some sort of food gesture, you know, you rub their head. And then that person should be like, okay, they're acknowledging that they were being annoying, annoying and I appreciate that. And your reward now is not only will, you, will we not fight about it, I am now going to shut the fuck up for the rest of the day. That's it. Or go for a walk. Just get out of the house and leave the house for them. Why don't, why don't we try that instead of talking things out? like all these other fucking trained professionals <laughs> mention. Um, sit down, just, you know, put it all out there on the table. What, so you can throw it in my face a week later? Um, anyway, it's baseball season. It's Formula One season. It's MotoGP season. NHL playoffs are right around the corner, followed by the NBA playoffs. COVID is essentially over. 